Hi there guys, so David Hay, former cruiserweight world champion and heavyweight world champion has explained that Anthony Joshua must have a devastating knockout victory over Kubrat Pulev in order to keep up with Tyson Fury. Now, Tyson Fury knocked out Deontay Wilder in the 7th round and it was a punch perfect performance, knocking out the guy who is the knockout artist. He stepped to him and walked him down, done something to Deontay Wilder that no one has ever done before. And Tyson Fury is the only man to defeat Deontay Wilder. So ultimately, what David Hay is saying is that Anthony Joshua must do the same to Kubrat Pulev. But obviously, Pulev is a different kind of opponent. But what he must do is knock him out, and it must be devastating in order to keep up with Tyson Fury and keep that undisputed fight alive. Because obviously, everyone wants to see Anthony Joshua versus Tyson Fury. We want to know who is the best. We want to see who comes out on top in the heavyweight division, who is undisputed heavyweight world champion of this era. And obviously, a lackluster performance in the Kubrat Pulev fight for Anthony Joshua wouldn't exactly create the hunger for that undisputed fight. If Anthony Joshua has a big knockout over Kubrat Pulev, then after that, calls Tyson Fury's name, then everyone is going to make that fight happen. Everyone is going to say, that is the fight we want to see. Now obviously, Tyson Fury has his own fight to deal with as well. He must come through Deontay Wilder for the second time, or third time, depending how you want to count that draw. But still... He has to come through Deontay Wilder for a third time in order to set up that undisputed fight. And Anthony Joshua must also come through Kubrat Pulev. Now Kubrat Pulev is a very different kind of opposition to what Tyson Fury will be facing. Anthony Joshua must employ different tactics than he would against Deontay Wilder and than he would against Tyson Fury. Kubrat Pulev has an extremely good jab, a good right hand, and he knows how to set it up. He's not fast on his feet, he doesn't have fast hands, but he does have good positioning and good timing. And as the old saying goes, timing beats speed. So Anthony Joshua must be careful that Kubrat Pulev does not figure him out and start timing his punches, time him when he is walking in, because Kubrat Pulev can whack, and if he catches Anthony Joshua coming in, then Anthony Joshua is going to struggle taking those kind of punches, because Kubrat Pulev is a big old lump himself, so Anthony Joshua must stay switched on during this fight, and vary his punches, not necessarily go for the same combinations, and if he starts getting success, then change it up, don't just stick to that, because Kubrat Pulev will figure it out, and he will start timing Anthony Joshua's punches, and start landing a few of his own, so Anthony Joshua needs to show a few different dimensions to his game in this fight with Kubrat Pulev, it's not just going to be a walkover job, Kubrat Pulev I believe, is coming to fight, he's not just coming to lay down. He has one defeat on his record, and that came against Vladimir Klitschko. So Anthony Joshua is in there with a top quality opposition in Kubrat Pulev. That is why he must not underestimate him. That is why also, in contradiction to what David Hayer said, he must not think, I need a devastating knockout. He must go in there thinking, I'm going to execute my game plan. And if the knockout comes, then it comes. That is the best way to get a knockout, not necessarily go looking for it. Because, I mean, in the first Andy Ruiz Jr. fight, he wanted a spectacular knockout, and maybe that was his undoing. In this fight, he cannot make that same mistake again, because a boring fight against Kubrat Pulev, undisputed is still alive for Anthony Joshua if he gets the win, whereas if he tries to be too spectacular and walks onto one, that kills undisputed for Anthony Joshua. So while maybe yes, he does need a spectacular knockout and a devastating knockout to look good going into that undisputed fight, what he also needs to do, and the most important thing, is to get the victory, whether it is a decision, whether it is a late stoppage. I think that maybe round 7 to round 12 is when Anthony Joshua will get Kubrat Pulev. I think that is when it will be too much. Anthony Joshua will be too strong, too fresh for Pulev. But again, it's not going to be an easy fight. It's not just a walkover job. This guy, Kubrat Pulev, this is his last opportunity. And he's going to take it with both hands. He's not coming to just lay down. But anyway, guys, what are your thoughts on this? David Hay has explained that Anthony Joshua will need a spectacular knockout to keep up with Tyson Fury. Guys, drop your thoughts in the comments below. Click the thumbs up and subscribe if you are new. Thanks, guys.